Hey everyone, and welcome to this video. Today I'm at Kenny Yupol, and what I'm going to show you is a 2005 Chevy Cavalier. Now, I normally don't like these cars, but honestly, these cars are good beaters. This one has 135,000 kilometers on it. It's on for $13.99, and it looks like it's a sort of a base model, but it's not in bad shape, probably. And it's locked, so we will get it unlocked. We'll take a look on the inside. Step down the pickers so I don't get myself picked at. And I believe this would have a 2.2 Ecotec. Manual windows, beautiful, they never break. Six preset radio with CD player, beautiful, it works. You have a non-cracked, by the looks of it, trim piece up here, that's pretty good. Not in bad shape. Pop the hood, we'll pop the trunk, and we'll take a look around the outside. Personally, I'm much more of a fan of these Cavaliers than I am these Cobalts. These cars are just so much better put together than the Cobalts are. The interior quality is better, and yeah, they're just they're a lot nicer of a car to drive, I think. So yes, Ecotec 2.2 liter, inline four cylinder, and this one here is actually in surprisingly good shape. No rust on the hood other than right there, and just a bit of rust. It's not bad. It's a good little beater. Really good little beater, actually. Runs quite smooth. That's about 140 horsepower. Nothing too powerful, but it's definitely enough for this little car. Um, yeah, it's plenty of power for this little car, actually. A little bit of dentage right here in this fender. It feels like this fender may have been repainted or replaced once. The little scratches down here. By no means perfect, but like none of these are. You know, again, the rockers do need a little attention, but it's really minor actually, and it's super low mileage. And you have a gas cap, a, I think that's a fuel filter, or an air filter, no, no, oil filter, no, that's another gas cap, and that's another gas cap. No, that's not a gas cap, I don't know what that is. Something. There's a water bottle back here that's empty. Spare tire under here, it looks like it's never been used actually. Nice. That's a good thing. Like I said, it's an 05. And for an 05, it's honestly not in bad shape because 05s typically in my area are rusted out by now. Like, even the passenger side is pretty decent. Glove box, fairly large. You've got some safety information in there. Um, probably from the previous owner when they put it on the road. The power point there, two cup holders on this side, little storage pocket, and right here, another cup holder in the console. It's strange, I never noticed that before about these. Yeah, not a bad little car though. The back seat, well, it is torn up. It will pulled up. It could be put back down and the back seat's in really good shape. With only 137,000 kilometers on it, I would expect this car to be in decent shape. <coughs> it's again, not perfect, but it's a perfect daily beater. It's 1,399 bucks. It's not bad. 
Not bad at all. Reliable because it has manual windows and manual locks. We'll step in it quickly here again and take a quick peek at the interior. The interior smells good too. It smells like it's never been smoked in. And we'll telltale that right now. Apparently it has, but it... They've done a good job making it not smell like it, which is good. Sorry, check engine light is on actually. Um, I guess it would probably be on for um, EVAP or something. Something stupid that's very common on GM products to have the EVAP light. EVAP problems. It's not a big deal either. It's pretty little. Anyways, uh, next oil change is due at 137,000. So it's not even up to at its next oil change yet. Someone took care of it, and uh, that's a very good thing. I like to see people take care of a car no matter what kind of car it is. Anyways, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button as well as subscribe for more. Have a great day everyone.